You picked our hair. You picked our outfits. You picked your favorite segments. And the show is in your hands. It's our viewers' choice show. And it's about to start right now. So Matt, let's start the show. Woo! This is our is dedicated solely to our amazing fans out there. Yes. Without you, none of this would be possible. So this one is for you. That's right, it's our Viewer's Choice Show! <laughs> now, we asked you to go online and vote your heart out, and that you did. You voted for segments, you voted for topics, and you even voted for your hairstyles our hairstyle yeah, and our outfits. Specific. Our fans are very yes. specific. Yes. Now, for my look, 43% of you picked this hair, and 55% of you picked this outfit. I love it. I love it. This is one of my favorite hairstyles on you. Thank it's interesting you, to see what other people, like, like their opinions, right? Yeah. yeah. How they mm -hmm. put you together. What do you think, Lonnie? I, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> you like it? You know me, I like, as long as they kept the colored hair, some type of color, That's you. you know, then That's it's me. So yeah. you guys know me well, so thank you very Aww, much, fans. Love it. Okay, well for my look, 48% of you picked this hair and 78% of you picked this outfit. So wow. thank you guys, because I love, you know, polka dotted patterns, and I love just like, an easy bob. I'm not a hair fussy person, so if I can jump out of the shower and, and I can blow dry this myself, I like it. So thanks, you guys. Super oh, easy to use it. <laughs> okay, you guys, for my look, 64% of you picked this hair. And <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks. And 52% of you guys picked this outfit. Thank you guys so much because. This is the first year I'm actually wearing my natural hair on TV, what? and I haven't done this, you guys, consecutively since I did Twitches, and that was oh. like in 2005. Oh, so wow. That was over 10 years, years ago. Over 10 years, you guys, I would either straighten my hair or, or put a wig on it. So thank you for loving me for me. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cool when people like you ask them to pick what they want you to look like and they say yourself? Yeah. yeah. Like you're natural. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, folks, <laughs> you picked all natural for me as well. For my little 58% of you picked this hair. <laughs> and 54% of you picked this outfit. <laughs> And about since that? this is called the real, I have to be real. <laughs> I kind of hate it. Oh! Oh! But, I, but I love you guys so much. But the combo, man. Oh, oh man. No, it's the combo. We were talking oh, about this. Thing. Why don't you love me? Normally, you would want to do a top knot with this. Yeah. Why do you want to do me like this? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like, why? OK, normally, exactly. When you got a busy outfit like this going on, first of all, you guys know that I have no neck. <laughs> so like my rocker moment is like ruined because it should be like a top knot on the top of my head, you feel me? Uh -huh. Which would make this sleeker and make my face look skinnier. <laughs> But I got a lot going on today. I got a lot of hair and I got a lot of outfit. I mean, I feel grease lives coming yes, from you. Me. Wait, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, you guys, because they know me. When I walked downstairs, they were making fun of my outfit. <laughs> I feel like I got set up. I got set up. Lonnie's the worst though. Lonnie, Lonnie made fun she, of she me. She called me Lucy Ball, Lucille Ball. Yes. <laughs> Yesterday I had on camouflage. She called me G.I. Genie. Yes, yeah. she did. And, and today hey. I'm grease lightning all day long. I feel like where's my guitar? I'm totally rocking out today. Like, well, you do look cute though. Yeah. You really look yeah. cute. Yeah. I just don't know who I am today. I'm you 
just a cutie. But you're you still know? Adrian. You're thank still you. our Adrian. Yeah. Well, like we said to our fans, <laughs> thank you so yes, much. Now, cool. who is ready for some girl chat? <laughs> Topic in Girl Chat today was sent in by you, our fans, yeah, our okay. viewers. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for the first topic, so envelope, please. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, so sophisticated. Yeah. It's in gold. It's in gold. Thank you. I like the music, too, Lonnie. Oh. This is a moment. Oh, this Ooh, is. So okay, so serious. We're very fancy here at The Real. This first topic was sent in to us on Instagram from Brenda Negrete. Great. She asked, if you were president, what's the first thing you'd do? Ooh, that's a great president question. President by law! Oh, what would yes. be your first order of business? Oh my God, this is so exciting. I'm the first Latina <laughs> president! <laughs> <laughs> we should just start there. Okay, Ooh. so first thing I would do, um, my sister was in college and like, Health insurance is a major thing, mm -hmm. and she didn't have health insurance. Mm -hmm. So I would say free health insurance. I feel like all the other countries have that. Yeah. We need that. Free health insurance, and being the first Latina president, I'm gonna go totally, you know, pro Boricua. Uh -huh. Okay. And say that Puerto Rico should be able to vote for the president. Okay. okay. It is all a right. part of the United, United States. States. We fight in the military. Yes. We should be able to, you know, vote as okay. well. Okay. I love this question. Yeah. yeah. So the next there you go. <laughs> president next. Okay. President, president Jeannie now. Mai. Oh my God, it feels so good in this office. You're the first Asian president! I love <laughs> <laughs> the possibilities are endless, people! Yes. So, okay. <laughs> this is something I've been, like, really hoping would happen. Okay. I would enforce that all school curriculums teach children about finances. Yes. How Ooh. to balance. How Girl. I think every student should get a piggy bank and what it means to put, you know, Checking save a little quarter yes. in there every so often because I am 36 today and I'm still trying to figure out credit cards. Yeah. You know that's what I mean? Very important. And get your credit important. right. And when our own country is in that much debt, yes. what does that say about what we're teaching our children? So to me, the, the best value that, I mean, I, I love memorizing my fractions and my Pythagorean theorem, but Ooh. I'm really not using that anymore <laughs> today. I would what? have loved learning about finances and saving money. Number two, I would get all companies to remove the use of artificial flavoring and, and coloring and unnatural sugar. Oh, that is from so great. From their food. No hydrogenated fats and oils. GMOs. No artificial coloring, no GMOs. Um, oh. Our food would be healthy for our bodies. Well, not just that, but food I really food. believe people, the way that we think and the way we react today is because of the fuel that's inside of us and people act out when they're not properly fed or properly um, healthy with their yeah. nutrition. So that's what President Mai would do. Thank All you so right. much. All right, President Mai. I would vote for you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank if you. I was president, I would be the first comedian president. Yes! yes. I would definitely make people laugh. <laughs> and my first ordinance would be every Friday the Secret Service should wear no shirts. Yeah. They have good bodies. They do. They're strong. They have real good bodies, oh, okay? Good. And you know what? I would want to pass initiatives to help our children. Make sure that they get the quality education, yeah. that, that no child in this country would go hungry. We have too much food in this country. <laughs> children should not be going That's hungry. So I would pass off. I actually, you know, I would just have, and I would also try to pass world peace. I would do as much as I yes. can to get us together as a country Absolutely. and as a world. So I would, I would be like, like that. I love that. Um, I would have to agree with you, Lonnie. I'm all about world peace. But my thing, my main thing would be to unite our country. Whoa. I mean, we're always so focused on bringing peace in the world, but I feel nowadays we are so we're not divided, connected. especially, you know, in, 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 in the government. Like, Dems hate Republicans, Republicans hate Dems, and I would really want everybody to just unite, learn from each other, and learn from our differences. Can't we all just get along, people? Yes. And it does. can you imagine if we all were in the office, how we'd look on the, the bill? Oh, oh we my would have God. So I would have fun. the dollar bill, because I want to be at the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> how awesome is that? Okay, Make well, it rain. ladies, mm. President Mai is ready for the next topic. All the right. envelope, please. <laughs> I know, this is so cool. 
I feel so rich. <laughs> this topic was sent in on Instagram from Angela Langford. Hi, Angela. Hi. Who wants to talk about any tips on celebrating the holidays with in-laws or someone else's family for the first time. That's a good one, because we're oh, all gonna be going is. through that somehow. Mm -hmm. Tamara, yeah. I'm sure you spent time with Adam's family for the first time. Yes. How was it? Any tips? Well, this is the real, okay? okay. And I have to be honest. Yes. Um, my mama's Thanksgiving is different from Adam's Thanksgiving. Got it. We have <laughs> collard greens and, and fried chicken and Yum. macaroni and cheese. And with Adam, we had turkey and mashed potatoes and yes. And I think, I think for me, I cried on my first first time. <laughs> what? Because Thanksgiving with my mom, that's like that soul that's food. That's that soul was, food. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, it's everything. Whereas with Adam's family, I just had to be open. So I would say for your first time, oh. just be open to the different ways that the other family celebrates their holidays that's because good. everybody celebrates it differently. Yes. So I was, I was open. But you were homesick a little. Oh, if I, I absolutely I yeah. was homesick, and now we swap. So one year my mom has it, and one year Adam's uh, mom. You uh, are very has kind. It. That's really oh, good. Well, thank you. You know why you are very why? kind? Why? Because I'm not playing those games. All right. Why? I'm never yeah. going to anyone else's house. What? Because it is. I don't. Okay. We do it at my mother's house. My mom. If you want to be a part of my life, come on over to our house, you and that's have, just how we doing you it. You have to switch it up. You're talking about that. I would come over. I don't it's play so those fun. games. I'm going to be with my mom, my nieces, oh, and Adrian. I feel like but there are no. some people that they do spend. You know, they don't have families in yeah. uh, you know the city or whatever. Yeah. I would advise you number one, don't go to the eat first. Okay. Let the family eat. You're not part of the family yet. Oh, that's so good. So let them get their mashed potatoes first, okay? Yeah. Number two, don't ask any questions to nobody. Just sit what? there and observe. Because if it's a future in-law, you can find out a lot if you just be quiet. That is true. And hush true. it up, okay? Yeah, that is true. And then, if you really want to find out the information, sit at the little kid's table. <laughs> That's this a good one. Kids kids. That's a good oh. one. That's a really good one. That's so true. Okay, you guys, I'm really big on this because I have two younger brothers and I'm, I'm big on making an impression. You know, people are watching you. You don't think they're watching, but they're watching you. Right. You meet mm -hmm. new families, mm -hmm. especially if you're dating somebody, mm -hmm. their eyes are on you. Number one, you walk into somebody's house, take off your shoes. I don't care what family you're from, what country what if, you are. What if they don't want you with your feet out in their house? Take off. Your shoes are dirty, people, and they what, dress what all What if your feet are dirty, people? Take, wash your feet, first of all. <laughs> and or what then if take you have shoes. bunions and you don't want to show Put them? Put some socks over your bunions, take off your shoes. This is an Asian household, you take off your shoes. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. <laughs> Wait, I have a question for what? How many of them would want people to take their shoes off when they if, walk in? If you want them, if you want to tell that person, okay, you can put your shoes back on. I do appreciate that. But, but I'm going to say, when you do it, it shows that you care about the house before you walk in. Trust me, people are watching. They see it. Take and, off your shoes. And you're being considerate. Yes. You're being clean. Yes. Why Number am I the two. only one clapping? Number two. <laughs> I think you should always bring a gift for the parents. Always bring something. Like something like, you know, a flower. I'll bring the liquor. I'll bring the liquor. Wine is yes. classy. Yes. Wine is classy. And then very number classy. three. Yes. Very classy. You guys, very this classy. is a big one. Number very three. Classy. No matter what you can do, just offer to get into the kitchen and help. <laughs> Always. I mean, sometimes I don't even know what they're doing, but you just go in and you pretend you to do stuff. Adrian you just by loan. No, you just they don't want me in Adrian there. Adrian by loan. I'm going to ruin the dinner. But you got to come in and pretend. Just wash okay. the dish. I can something. clean. Like I always thing. offer to clean well, up afterwards and help. We're going to keep help. talking about this because this is the holiday season, yeah. but for right now, Jeannie, what we got to do? Take off your shoes. As we were going through topics this week, it became clear that the number one thing you wanted us to speak on was the recent terrorist attacks on Paris. Now, a lot of you guys may know that Paris is my favorite city in the world. I spent my summer there studying, and um, there's just an amazing wonder and magic to that city. And I just pray for peace to come every day. Yeah. Um, so, Tamara, yes. I, I want to know what went through your mind. Obviously, you know, there were children that were hurt in this, and you are a mother. What did you think when you heard about the terrorist attacks? Well, the first thing I thought was, oh no, not again. And then because I am a mother, 
I thought of my kids and what kind of world they're gonna live in. Wow. If this is just the tip of the iceberg right now, because I didn't, I didn't grow up having to hear this over and over and over again. So it, it really got me thinking like, guys, we, we've, got, we've, we've got to become more aware. We have to teach awareness on this and we have to find a way to do something about this. What you said, Lonnie, in the beginning of the show, world, world peace is, is what I'm striving for. And I, I, as a mother, that's all I want my kids to, to be a part of. Yeah. I want them to, to feel safe and to enjoy living where we live. Life yeah. is such a beautiful, beautiful thing and you never know when it can be taken away from you. That's right. I feel, I feel, honestly, I feel as an American, I feel like, what am I doing? What can I do? Mm -hmm. what, what can I do? As I'm going to bed, when I brush my teeth, I go to bed, and I'm laying there, and I'm not doing something. Right. And it bothers me. It makes me feel guilty that I'm not helping in some way. But then it's also like, what do we do? What do we do? Mm -hmm. Who can we trust? What do we do? And who do you look to? It's just, it's scary. Mm -hmm. I can't sleep. It, it's so sad that we don't look at each other as humans. Mm -hmm. Forget race, forget mm -hmm. where you came from, forget your religion. I mean, I get that. Believe in what you want. We are humans at the end of the day. And we need to look out for each other and love one another. Right. Yeah. And the worst reaction to have is to begin to blame groups of people or start to no. judge groups of people. That's you what don't I fight really hate pray with hate. They don't, yes, it's not going to win. And that's why we have to educate ourselves on the people who are actually doing this and right. not blaming right. you know, others. Uh, the masses. And maybe it's yeah. the individuals that yes. are doing this, mm -hmm. not the groups and not mm -hmm. the beliefs. And you know what? If you are feeling um, some type of way, the way you're feeling, you get help, okay? Because we don't want anything to happen to you. Yeah. Okay? Aww. We got to do better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can do better in this world. <laughs> oh. I just feel like, you know, we pray before we start this show every day. And it's not, again, it's not about religion. I think it's about something greater than that. It's about be, doing good by people. You want to wake up in the morning and you want to do good by people. You want to help. One. And I think the idea of killing one another. And we did our prayer the other day and we right. started crying. And Jeannie was like, I know what it is you're feeling. There's right. so much going Heavy. on in the world. And we come out here and we do our little show for an hour and it's, it's such a small part right. of the bigger things that are happening in this world, and you have to recognize that. And but we try to do this show. To make a lot of people say, hour. why y'all don't talk about heavy topics? A lot of times we feel like we don't want to hit the heavy topics because we want you to escape for a little Just bit. Just a little bit, Just you know? Just a little bit. Make for you an laugh. Hour. Just escape, make you laugh, make you think that there is good in the world. And, there um, is, because there is. Still there good in the good. world. It, but it's times like this that we do have to recognize and we just hope and pray for the best for everybody. Everybody. Everything that's happening. And Paris, we are with you. So that's it for Girl Chat today. Now, we took a poll on our website and asked you about your favorite lifestyle segment. Well, the results are in. All right, a third of you asked for our 60-minute makeover. Because yeah. we're so good at it. I know. I mean, I mean, it's clearly us doing the hair and makeup back there, <laughs> not. So, you guys, it's time to give you what you want. We received a letter from a viewer named LaShonda. She wrote in asking us for a makeover because she has been self-conscious about her appearance changing due to her battle with cervical cancer and lupus. Check out her story. My name is LaShonda. I'm 45. I'm from Victorville, California. My dress is usually scrubs or sweats and a t-shirt. I'm a child care provider. I'm with kids all the time. I received my first child at three o'clock in the morning and I don't lay my head down until maybe 12 o'clock in the morning. So 24 seven children. So to have LaShonda looking good from head to toe, we called in our celebrity glam squad. On hair, we have Micah B. On makeup is AJ Crimson. And holding it down in the fashion department, we have our very own Oakley Stevenson. Now we told LaShonda to show us what she was working with when it came to her sense of style. And we were shocked to find out dressing in scrubs is her everyday go-to look. So there's no way we were gonna let her continue with the madness. I am a five-year cancer survivor and I am now battling medically induced lupus. My self-esteem has been lost. Ladies from The Real, if you could help me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks. 
So we brought her here to give her some style and confidence by giving her the makeover of her dreams. But the question that remains to be answered is, can our glam squad complete LaShonda's makeover in 60 minutes or less? We'll soon find out. So guess what? We brought LaShonda here to get that makeover and we're doing it in 60 minutes or less. Yes. yes. The transformation has already started backstage, so we got a girl A checking in with the Glam Squad right now on the progress. A, how's it going? Oh <laughs> my God, you guys, the transformation is looking so good. So I know they are doing their thing. They are not playing back here. Micah, what you doing with this hair? Girl, we are about to go volume yeah. and length. Va, va, va. Now, AJ, one of the effects of lupus is actually hyperpigmentation, so what are we doing for that? Uh, so I'm using a full coverage dual skin cream foundation Jeez. to give her hydration, but also tons of coverage. Yes, she's looking dewy! I'm loving this. Now, 60 minutes is not a lot of time, you guys, but I have faith that you will absolutely pull this off. You have not seen yourself. Are you nervous, excited? I'm more excited than nervous. Good answer, because I'm so excited for you. Now, you know how much we love our gab bag. Yes. And this time, we let you pick which glorious bag we're giving away. Isn't that nice of us? That is awesome. <laughs> crazy. So get ready, because one lucky audience member and one of you at home are going to win the bag of choice. This is our Viewer's Choice Show, and it's Gab Bag <laughs> First, we had a beautiful brown leather Gucci, a caramel colored Stella McCartney, and a croc embossed Alexander McQueen for you to choose from. We posted these pictures on our website, and I must say, all three bags are to die for because yes, they, they have are. amazing taste. Which bag did you choose? It's time to find out. Are you ready to find out? No, really, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Send down the bag. <laughs> bag with the classic GG heat embossed soft leather and natural cotton linen interior is stunning yes, ladies and gents and get this it retails for $1,390. Wow. 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 Isn't she gorgeous? Gorgeous. Wow. She's beautiful. Wow. I'll let you touch her just a little bit right there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. Oh. okay. Okay. Can I put my ah. toes on it? No. <laughs> So, are you guys ready to see what crazy items are inside the gab bag? Yes! Okay. And then, one of you in our studio audience will be taking this beauty home along with everything inside of it. Okay, all right, for our first goodie, if you're going to have an amazing designer bag, you've got to protect it. Am I right, lady? Yes. Yeah. So, thankfully, some geniuses out there invented the handbag raincoat. A raincoat wait, for your look. handbag. Oh, wait a second, you guys. This is actually really genius. Think about it, because when, when you have genuine leather like this, you don't want anything to tarnish it. Yes. And rain or dirty, like puddles, splashes, can really stain the bag. So, why not get this nifty little Velcro-enclosed handbag raincoat so you can safely go as you please. That is genius. That is genius. I love that idea. I had a light colored bag, a white, like a like a white leather bag once, yeah. and I totally could have used that right? in New York. Okay. Or have you ever been to a restaurant where people are eating greasy things and they're like, Oh, oh my god, yes. I like a bag. Then, yeah, and they're like, <laughs> dude. Last but not least, a conversation starter. If you're a woman running for president, you've got to know how to crack a few nuts out there, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, how about doing it with? The Hillary Nutcracker. <laughs> You're serious? Yes. Hey. Is this crazy? What the heck? Okay, so you take Hillary, hey Hill, and you've got those nuts for the holidays. Oh, I want to do this. And you put it. I 
think we get the idea. Oh, okay. Yay! Yummy! All Jeannie? right. Good job. Jeannie, get to the Isn't business. Isn't awesome? <laughs> so, now it's time so cool. to find out who in our lucky audience is taking this Gucci goddess home. Okay. We put all of your names so in a bowl. So, deep down in who's there. it going to be? I'm gonna do the honors. Can I get a drum roll, please? Ow. Ooh. It is Brittany Brown. You are a gas Come on down here, girl. Meet your new friend. <laughs> Great victory dance, right, guys? Give it up. Amazing. Brittany, where are you from? I'm from Gardena, California. Awesome. You can take that, girl. Right. Okay. Okay. The question is, do you have room for this sexy Gucci bag? I will make room. When you have a bag like that, you make room for it. Am I right? And right. Exactly. <laughs> that's how you treat a $1,390 bag. And she definitely deserves her own shelf. So, girl, enjoy it. Hold it. There you go. Okay, let me see. This is our viewers' choice show, and we asked you what you wanted to see today, and an overwhelming number of you asked to see another story about everyday people doing extraordinary things. We cannot wait to share this one with you. When the free lunch program serving the students of North Beach, Washington was canceled over the summer, the town's neediest children were hit hard, but one courageous woman took it upon herself to set things right. 74-year-old retired postmaster and great-grandmother Phyllis Shaughnessy launched a mission to deliver lunches to keep children throughout the region fed and most importantly, happy. Take a look. With the help of good friends and volunteers, Phyllis Shaughnessy launched the Green Lantern Lunches Program. By gathering donations and packing bag lunches, her crew began to feed needy students daily. The favorite thing about the lunch was um, the tuna on the crackers. But what started out as a delivery of 100 lunches a day soon grew to 125 a day, then to 200. By the end of the summer, Phyllis and her Lantern Lunch crew had served over 10,000 lunches. To Phyllis, though, there was never a question in her mind that she would help. There are a number of kids out there needing lunches, and we set about finding them and getting them to them in the best way we could using the old-fashioned American system. Finding, solving the problem, and getting them fed. Love it. I cannot wait to meet this incredible woman. Experience. I am. <laughs> it's a lot easier to make lunches. <laughs> <laughs> you came oh, in here teary eyed and you almost made I me know, teary eyed. I know. I'm listening to this, it's like, you just do what you need to do. Right. Mm -hmm. wow. And it's time for America to realize communities should take back what should be their responsibility. I That's love that. Right. Absolutely. That is That's so right. cool. Absolutely. Tell us what you are talking about the lunches. I would like to know. What exactly is in the lunches? Okay, in these lunches uh -huh. that we're in, there was cup of juice, cup of noodles, macaroni and cheese, sausage sticks, cheese sticks, Ooh. cookies, crackers, <laughs> chips. You're making me hungry. I know. And they loved it. And all oh, those uh, Smucker's Scrunchables or whatever yeah, they are. I like they those. They love they don't those. Have, they don't have the crust. I know. Yes, and they genius. love them. And so it was just all that kind of food every day. And on weekends, we threw in an extra batch so they could have a little snack. You feed the them weekend. on the weekends too? Well, we gave them extra on Friday. Oh, okay. Oh, so they eat them oh, for the oh weekend. My this is oh. the best. So thoughtful. I love it. Well, Phyllis, we wanted to put together a little surprise for you. 
So do you oh, mind? I'm surprised enough already. Oh, oh. Are you? Okay. Well, ready? Well, hold on for it. We fixed you a lunch, okay? Oh. Yes. So look okay. right over there. Over there. I'm wondering what is in that big bag. Can you reveal it? to be able to help you with Lantern Lunch Program. Oh. <laughs> so we reached out to our friends at Grocery Outlet Bargain Market, and they provide top quality name brand grocery products, including healthy, natural, and organic choices at up to 60% less than conventional stores. Wow. That's awesome. They are so honored to be able to help Phyllis with her mission to touch lives for the better in her hometown. And they're giving her Ten thousand dollars <laughs> groceries. <laughs> so, Phyllis, what do you think? How much will this help? This will pay for more than half of the program for summer. Oh, oh right. Right. so great! For ten thousand lunches, this is half the program. All day today, we've been giving you some of your favorite things. It's our viewers' choice show, and we heard you loud and clear. So right now, it's time to see the results of one of your favorite segments. Earlier, we introduced you to LaShonda, who reached out to us because she was struggling. So LaShonda has lupus, and between her illness and the treatment, her appearance keeps changing. So she wanted our help. We called in a team we knew could help her out, and we challenged them to do it in 60 minutes or less. Well, you guys, they did it. And I cannot wait to see LaShonda's new look and her new confidence. But first, let's meet LaShonda's daughter, Serena. Hi. Hey, girl. Hello. I'm so happy to have you here. <laughs> now, I know you're super excited to see what your mama's new look is gonna look like, yeah. but I have a question. Why do you think your mom is so deserving of this makeover? It's a little cliche, you know, to say my mom is amazing. She's the best mother anyone can have. Um, she's a pinnacle of strength. When I saw her, you know, battled through cervical cancer and she won, um, that made me excited. And, you know, a little soon after that, she was told she has lupus. And, you know, seeing her struggle through that is what, you know, it really, you know, gets to me, and which is why, you know, she hasn't made time for herself recently, so. I kind of forced her to do it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that. Well, I am so ready to see LaShonda's new look. What about yes. you guys? Yes. yes. Right? So let's check out how she looked before using our holla back hologram. Let's check it out. Now, who's ready to check out LaShonda's new look? <laughs> LaShonda, come on. Wow. wow. LaShonda looks great. And you know what? Because of her lupus, her hair is thinning. But we all have issues with thinning hair. Yeah. What did you so do? Beautiful. I mean, definitely added extensions to add volume. We put yeah. some highlights in there, definitely to complement her skin tone. <laughs> and I really suggest that extensions for a protective style for men, women that are dealing with lupus. All that right. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. AJ, look at that. Face. Oh, it is bee hunting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, what did you do? Because she has dry skin because yeah. of lupus. What could she, What did you do? You know, it's all about hydration. You uh -huh. know, uh, we wanted to give her a great moisture mask. Uh, we started with that, and then we used a foundation that had a lot of moisture in it. They're out there, so definitely take advantage of them. And then we added a little pop on the lip to give her a little fat, fab, and fear, fierce look. And then the eyes. She just looks fabulous. Edgy. Oh my goodness, she looks yeah. great. So edgy. She does. Oh my goodness. She does. Okay, Oakley. I absolutely love this dress. It's, it's gorgeous. So tell us, why did you choose this style for LaShonda? 
Well, I wanted to choose red because I knew she needed some love, and red represents love. Yeah. So, Aww. she's a red hot mama. Exactly. So this red dress is perfect for her body. It shows off her silhouette, amazing. And it's got a little tuck on the side with the little gold hardware. Uh -huh. Yes. Shows off the curves. All and right, yes. that's all, that's all. Hey. Mashonda, you look stunning, Thank but what radiates off of you is your joy. I feel like you really feel yourself right now, yeah? Mm -hmm. I she am. She hasn't even seen I herself am. yet. I really am. Can you imagine when you see yourself? Are you ready for that? But what, Serena, how does your mom look? I've never seen her look like this ever. Oh. And I'm Don't 23. Cry. Yeah. Oh, Not until after you see yourself. Yeah. Okay, are you ready to go and check yourself out in that mirror? I'm more than ready. Okay, this uh -huh. is your moment, girl. Take a deep breath and rip it off. I feel oh my God. beautiful. I do. You look oh. so beautiful. Oh. Thank you guys. Oh my so goodness. Very, thank you. So Shonda, we're so glad you're happy with your new look. And most of all, you feel beautiful. Feel, you feel, feel beautiful? I feel, I feel gorgeous. Oh, that's great. <laughs> now, of course, we couldn't have done this without Micah B, AJ Crimson, and Oakley. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. You did an amazing job.